Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to um, graph y equals one third sine of x. Now, this one is not that bad, so I'm not going to take as much time on it. Um, there's a couple things we want to know, though, is what exactly is that one third going to do to our graph? OK, so there's our kind of our general form of our graph. Um, for our sine graph. And you can see we, A is the only number we have. We don't have a number multiplied by x. We're not minus C or D. So therefore, we're not shifting the graph up or down, left or right. Um, there, and plus, that's positive, so there's no reflection. And our, there's going to be no change in period. So what exactly is the 1 third doing? Well, to really understand that, let's go ahead and graph the parent graph just to help us out. Because I think students will still have a problem with the problem, because still have a problem with this, because they still don't know what the initial period of sine looks like. The initial period of f of x equals sine of x, okay? And again, remember this graph repeats itself, goes on and on forever. But one part of it starts at 0, goes up to 1, down to negative 1. It, it repeats itself at 2 pi, which we call the period. From the start to the end is 2 pi. And the distance between each important interval is pi halves, which we call the x scale. Which you notice, none of this stuff is being changed, okay? So it goes up to 1 down to its intercept, down, and then back up. So you can see at each important part, there is, at each important part is your x scale. Now it goes up to 1 and negative 1. That's what we call the amplitude, the half distance, the half distance from the minimum to the uh, maximum. So you can see that, really, the number in front of here is 1, right? Well, now my number here is 1 third. So when we compute the amplitude, all we're simply doing is taking the amplitude, which is going to be the half distance, again, from the maximum end, is equal to um, the absolute value of a, which is just equal to 1 third. So guess what? To graph this, all I simply am going to do, instead of going up 1, down 1, I'm just going to go up 1, down to 1 third. And I'm going to want to do 2 pi. So I'm going to do 2 pi, 4 pi. So I'll change the intervals a little bit just to make sure I can fit for the video. So I have pi halves, pi, 3 pi halves, 4 pi, so 5 pi, 6 pi, um, 7 pi halves. OK? So then I just create the exact same graph. Down, intercept, and intercept, max, intercept, and. Now I know my graphing is a little bit suspect on my intervals here. But hopefully you guys can kind of see that you know, what I was trying to do is the exact same graph, except now it's just been compressed um, for a new amplitude of 1 third. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph y f of x equals 1 third sine of x. Thanks.